Alright, so what I have here is a Japanese uh, limited edition Animal Crossing console. Um, obviously, it's been imported from Japan. Uh, the language is Japanese, you know, everything's Japanese. So, obviously, you can't change the language or anything. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to mod it to where we can change the region to US. And this is going to be on the latest version. So, and beforehand we're gonna test that it can run games so this is a Japanese Tetris Tetris cartridge test that real quick boom detects it plays it let's see all right looks like it works fine all right so I have here another US game we're gonna test this one It's not a cartridge problem. This one's not detected. Alright. So we're going to keep in mind that this is region locked so it cannot play uh, US region games. And we have a Sky 3DS we're going to test as our last thing. Alright, it does not seem to work either. Or did I not turn it on? Let's see, I turned it on. Alright, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, prepare the console for uh, modding and then we can move to the computer. So first, um, I have it already, go ahead and create a me. Alright. So the main reason we're creating me is so we can um, go to the friend settings and we can one of the settings there uh, we can change that so we can access that which can help us prevent a internet ban in case anything happens. Um, you can do this I, this part either before I can actually you can do any of these parts before or after uh, the region change but I recommend doing it uh, before and after just uh, you know in case anything ever happens so initial setup I'm um, just gonna ask you know, uh, your friend see if you're online so if you go here go here and disable this one all right and then there's one more thing we need to do settings We're going to internet settings. So the first time, so throw all that. Disable that one. This is basically disabling uh, the street pass and automatic uh, sending of information. So once those two are disabled, we should be good to go. As you can see, eleven point thirteen point zero four five. I believe the most recent one is alone point fourteen, but this will still work. So I'm gonna actually go ahead, connect to the internet, update, and then I'll move on to the computer. All right, um, I've just finished installing custom firmware onto this console. As you can see, these are the um, apps or CIs that are installed that you should usually install when you. Uh, get custom firmware and just to show you that it works or we're not done yet. This is only uh, the first step uh, The reason why I didn't show me getting custom firmware because it takes a kind of a little bit and So what I recommend is going to 3ds.guide uh, It's a very helpful website that will get you started on modding your console and what you need you definitely need CFW to do the region change So definitely go to 3ds.guide. Uh, it's a foolproof website. Literally anyone can do it modding your console very easy um, I cannot recommend enough. But anyways, uh, showing you that it's modded, uh, I'll go to my settings. Let's see, 11.14, I updated as well. But anyways, back to the game that we tried earlier. <clears throat> Alright, 
so now that the reg uh, the console is region unlocked, we can now go ahead and uh, change the region. So once again, let's go ahead and turn off the console and remove the SD card and go back to the computer. All right, we are back onto the computer and uh, this part is very simple uh, after you've already got ZFW. So first thing you're gonna need, um, the, I'm gonna provide the link in the description below, but it's gonna be the link to the 3DS uh, guide region changing section. And it'll have these magnet torrent links to uh, the version you wanna transfer to with the 3DS versions. So here, let me just show you guys. So right here, uh, it'll bring you to this page and you can see these magnet links. So you just click on the one and make sure you click on the region that you want to change it to. So I'm going to download, since I'm using the old 3DS, I'm going to download the old 3DS one uh, US site because I want to change it to the USA version. So just make sure you got that, uh, don't get that confused. So yeah, so I have it right here. All right, so we're going to take, once you download it, you're going to have these two files or maybe just one uh, just a bigger file you don't have to worry about the one kilobyte file but if you do have both go ahead copy go ahead into your god mode 9 folder and you can just paste it in right there so while that's doing that um i'm gonna show you another thing you're gonna need uh, after you install it so so it's gonna be this little uh ds fix thing i actually showed uh used this in my first video but um basically this will restore ds functions because what uh, changing the region will do, it'll temp break the DS function, so you will, you will definitely need this to fix it. So you can go ahead and copy, go to your 3DS folder on the SD card, and paste it. There. And one disclaimer is that when you change the region, you will un be un unable to use the eShop, so you can't buy digital games anymore, but that shouldn't be a mo problem for most people. So. Just a small disclaimer there. All right, SD card in the console. What we're gonna do, hold start and press the power button. All right, now what we want to do is go to the first one that's highlighted, GM9 folder, and then find the 750 megabyte file. Just a big file, uh, that's, that's basically the um, the CTR of the, uh, that you're going to be using flashing onto the console. So this one, go ahead, press A. All right, it's going to say CTR and options. Uh, transfer image. It's like the bottom one. Sorry if it's a little blurry. Say yes. It'll show you these patterns. Uh, go ahead, input them, and this will take a while. And I'll be back. All right, uh, mine just finished uh, transferring the region, and after it's done, it should ask. Um, you should just press A. It'll ask, say relock permission. Uh, ask to relock the permissions. Just say yeah, press A, and then you can go ahead and reboot your console. So I shut mine down. I'm gonna turn it back on, and it should start loading a new home menu. Yeah, preparing it for our first time, and you can see it's already in English or uh, the desired language of the region you were trying to change to. So this will take a few seconds. Teams, blah, blah, blah. And note that um, what this when you region change this, it changed it to 11.5, and the latest is 11.14. So you have to re-update the console once again. So we're not going to do that right now. What we're going to do is that's going to say this, and you can see we have some blank titles, and then we don't we don't want these at all. So, but FBI is still there. So I'm just gonna wrap these two. Put our settings. Let's see, 1.5. So I'm just gonna go ahead, update that. All 
Alright, um, just finished updating. Uh, I did get an error saying it failed to update. Uh, earlier I just retried it, finished updating. It's gonna restart, update to the current version. Now for this, what we can do is we're going to go to our settings. Data management, DSIware. There will be these two blocks. You can just go ahead and delete them. Delete. Delete. Alright, those two are gone. And now next up what we need to do is we need to re-add the other apps that we had. And this will be through an application called Fake Tick. So go ahead and launch Homebrew Launcher. Go ahead and launch it. Ugh. Alright, uh see right here. Fake tick. Go ahead and click on it. Gonna work its magic. You can see those tickets it re-added. Then you can hit start. Home. Gonna re-add the stuff that it deleted. Updater. Checkpoint. And a memory. Now let's go back. And well now we're gonna launch TWL fix. And I'm gonna show you why we need to launch it. Uh, real quick because when we changed the region it broke the DS functionality so here we have Tetris our, uh, we, I remember at the start of the video we checked it it, it was working before the region transfer I'm going to show you if we put it in works fine launch it boom gives us an error alright so Obviously not working. Press A, it'll reboot. So this is to fix that error. Or if the game is not detected at all, because I know that happens sometimes as well. So go to homebrew. Go to fix. Press A. Done, press start. Now this will not work immediately. What you need to do is update your console one more time, but it will not actually update the console. It will just fix the issue. It's not an actual update. So it's gonna be a really quick uh, update. <laughs> and put that in quotation marks. As you can see, it is already the latest version. So you have the system update, okay. I accept, okay. You connect to the internet, update. Pretty quick update. The game again. I launch it. Boom. Working. And last but not least, just to make sure we don't get any bans or anything. I'm pretty sure even though Nintendo just stopped on the 3DS completely, they still might monitor like some internet stuff. Or some hacked consoles, modded consoles. Uh, go to friend list. Just the stuff we did at the beginning before we modded the console. Uh, just do that again, and you should be set.
So just make sure settings look like this. All right. settings small pass no and that is it that is how you reach and change your console uh, latest version 11.14 2021 uh, a full guide if you have any questions or comments just leave them in the comment section below i'll try my best to reply to any of them and uh have a great day